Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about the while activities. While activity is used for iteration purpose. If you observe, if and switch are not iterative. While activity enables you to execute a specific process repeatedly. While a specific condition is met or satisfied, this while condition or while activity goes on iteration. If specified condition is no longer met, then the project exits the loop. If you see on my screen, this is how it will looks like the while activity in the UI path. Let me go to the use case. I want to display a message, you know, welcome to hello world for 10 times. How can I go ahead and, and achieve it? Let me switch to a path studio. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new sequence by clicking on, you know, add new sequence for the while activity. I'm going to give the name as while activity. And I'm giving the location, the default location in the previous, you know, uh, previous uh, sessions which I have been given. Let me go ahead, let me create it. Now, if you see the while activity, uh, you know, process has been created. Now, what is the main purpose of this session that we are going to use the while activity? How can I go ahead and do that? Let me go to my activities. Let me click on while activity. Just I'm going to give a type while from the activities. You can see there are under workflow, you are having control. Under control, you will find do while and while. I will explain in the next session about the do while. In the current session, we are going to talk about the while. Now, let me drag and drop this while activity onto my on my panel. Okay, let me drop over here. Now, if you see, I'm selecting the while and on my right hand side, I'm having the properties for the while activity. There are the main two things for the properties that we have. One is display name. Whatever the name you are going to type it over here, it will be displayed over here. Another one is the condition. So in while activity, first the condition will be executing and then if the condition is met, then the body part, whatever the activities we are having, it will be executed once the condition is met. Now, in our use case, what we are going to do, we are going to display welcome to hello world for 10 times. So what is the condition over there? If my, you know, whatever the value that I'm having, if it is less than 10, then it has to execute the body part. If the condition is true, then only it has to execute the body part. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I want to make the loop condition, right? So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign some values over here. So first of all, I'm drag and dropping the assign activity from my activities. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign the count. So I'm going to initialize the variable count. How can I go ahead and do that? Control K. You can see set a variable over there. I'm just using a name as count and I'm going to click on enter. So if you go to the variables over here, Now you can see the count over here as string and the scope is while activity and then the default, I don't have initialized anything over here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just giving the count as zero. Okay, now what I'm going to do, see if you see the string is, I have given the count variable as string but you are comparing, you are going to be 10 times, it is integer type so that if you are going to be using this string, this is not the correct. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the count variable type to int 32. So go to the properties of the variable and then change it to int 32. And then let me go ahead, let me save it. Now let me minimize the variables. Okay, now if you see the count is initialized to zero. Now, when this, uh, when this body will be execute, when the condition executes as long as this condition is true. So how can we go ahead and do that? 
count is less than 10. In this case, you have to go ahead and execute the body part, right? So, so that you know, if it is going to be continuously, you can see right now, if it is zero, zero is less than 10, it is true, then it will go to body part. And what are the activities we are going to do in the body part, it will be executed. For the time being, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag and drop this message box onto my body, and then I'm going to leave it over here. Now in the message box, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, welcome to hello world. I'm just displaying this kind of messages. So as per our use case, I'm, I'm going to display 10 times based on the while activity, correct? Let me go ahead, let me save it. So, but if you see every time there's a thing is over here, every time zero, the value is zero, zero is less than 10, it is true, and then it will go and execute. Every time the condition is true. So it will go to infinity, infinity loop. So that what will happen, it will be never stopped and it will be continuously executes the bot. Okay, before that, there is some change we have to do that, but I will execute this one and I will let you know how it is going to be executing. Before that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the value over here to, make, to check it out over here, right? So I want to know the count, count dot to sing. I'm going to show you what is the count value over here, okay? Concatenating with space, and then I'm going to do this thing, okay? So I'm going to display the count value, what would the value it has been given over here, and then, uh, you know, along with that value, I'm going to display in the message box, welcome to hello world. Let me go ahead, let me execute this. Now you can see the output, I am having zero errors. Debug has, to, has started for file while activity. Loop activity is execution started. Now if you see the message box over here, zero hello world. So the value of the count is zero and hello world, right? Let me go ahead, let me click okay. If you see continuously, the value is coming as count as zero. Because of the value is always zero for the count, count is zero. So it's continuously, uh, you know, the condition is true and then it is executing infinity times. But what is our use case? That we have to execute only for 10 times. Okay, fine. What are the extra things that we have to do? How we can go ahead and increase the value? Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this bot. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to increment the count value by one. How can I go ahead and do that? Once again, I'm going to use the assign in the, you know, assign activity. And then I'm going to drop below the message box after execution of this body. In the same body, I'm going to execute the message box. After that, you know, I'm going to assign count value that is increment by one. Okay, count equal to count equal to count plus one. Okay, I'm going to increase the value of the count by one after execution of the message box. Now what will happen if you see count equal to zero and then it will go to while loop, zero is less than 10, then again this message box will be executed. Now what will happen, count is increment by one, zero plus one, one, now it will, the value will go to loop. One is less than 10. Again, this body executes for 10 times. And then finally, nine is less than 10. Then it will be executes finally. And then it will end the loop. So there's no infinity loop over here after increasing this value. Let me go ahead, let me save it. Now, let me run the bot once again. So we have zero errors right now. Now, if you see for the first time, that message box, we got zero, welcome to hello world. Now, let me click on OK. Now, if you see, the count value has been increased by one, so one we are going to display. You can see over here, count.toString, 
plus concatenating the space. Now one plus hello world, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you can see nine is less than 10. Again, it is going to be increasing by 10. 10 is less than 10. We don't have any kind of L spot over here. So that it came out of the loop. Okay, so starting from zero to, uh, you know, nine, it has been displayed for 10 times the message box as welcome to hello world. Now, I hope you understand how to use the while activity, correct? Let me explain you once again. While activity enables you to execute a specific process repeatedly while a specific condition is met or satisfied. When the specific condition is no longer met, the project exits the loop. This is how the while activity will work in the UI path. Thank you for watching UiPath tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.